The Q173 gate math module is designed to operate with gates and clocks. Uh, there's gate input and there's gate outputs. But it can also be used for audio signals, even though the signal outputs will be unipolar. They'll just be 0 to 5 volts. But you can still get some useful results from it. So what I'm going to do here is I have a typical synth patch with a mixer and a single oscillator. And I'm going to take the output of our oscillator and I'm going to patch it into our Q173 to get the clock pulses. Now the Q173 will only operate up to a couple of hundred hertz uh, before you start getting artifacts uh, due to all the math that it's doing. Uh, but you can get some really interesting things with just that. So what I'm going to do is after I've patched the output of the oscillator uh, into the Q173, I'm just going to take uh, the ramp waveform output and that'll be our mixer channel 1. We can listen to it here. So that's straight from the oscillator. But now we're going to mix in some outputs from the Q173. So here's output number 1. Let's set this one to divide by 2. You can have a little sub op. Okay, now that's channel 2 here. So there, straight from the oscillator. And here's with the Q173 divided by 2 mixed in. Let's do another one. Let's take this output and let's do a multiply by 1.5. here. And that'll go into channel 3 on our mixer. change it to other this is our pulse width going down to near zero some other patterns. So while the Q173 is not designed to do audio division, uh, it can be used to do that and you can get some interesting results if you're willing to tinker.